Hello, my beautiful people. Today, we are going across the border to Mexico. I'm going to show you all how I make a carne asada torta, which is a delicious Mexican steak sandwich. Before we start the recipe though, there are several parts of the sandwich which needs to be discussed. First off, let's talk about the bread. The two most common breads used for tortas in Mexico are the bolillo and the telera rolls. The bolillo is a very similar in taste and appearance to a French baguette, but it is a bit shorter in length. It is shaped like a mini football. If you do not have a Mexican supermarket near you, then the French baguette would be a good substitute. I personally love to use the Tolera rolls for my tortas as they are a tad larger, rounder, and a bit softer on the inside. Now let's talk about the meat. For the torta, you can use either skirt, flank, or flap steak. I am using flap steak today because it is fairly inexpensive and it is a thin steak which is perfect for tortas. And if you don't want to marinate the steak yourself, the supermarkets will usually have some flap steak that are conveniently marinated for you. And for your cheese options, well, you can either use cotilla, queso fresco, or Monterey Jack cheese. My choice for this sandwich is the Mexican queso fresco. I just want to quickly mention that traditionally, there would be a spread of refried beans on the sandwich, but I personally am not a fan of it. In my opinion, I think the sandwich tastes much better without the beans, so I will be omitting it from this recipe. But if you would like to add some refried beans to your sandwich, feel free to do so. Also traditionally, there would be a layer of mashed avocados on the sandwich, but I feel it just makes the sandwich too mushy. So I will be adding some sliced avocados instead. What's great about this sandwich is that you can customize it to your liking. All right guys, now we can finally get started. For the flap steak, you're going to have to decide whether you want to leave the meat whole, as is, or if you want to cut them into strips. And if you decide to cut them into strips, be sure to cut them against the grain. We are going to season the beef, so lay your meat on a cutting board, and sprinkle on some garlic salt, and black pepper. Flip the beef over and do the same to the other side. Then place your beef in a plastic Ziploc bag. Then squeeze in the juice of one whole orange. One whole lime. and one whole lemon. Then pour in some Maggi seasoning. And lastly, pour in some cooking oil. Close the bag and mix up the ingredients. In the meantime, we can prep the toppings. Start by thinly slicing the tomatoes. Next, we need some iceberg lettuce. You can either shred the lettuce or leave it whole. That would be up to you. Next up, thinly slice the onion. For the avocados, like I had mentioned earlier in the video, you can either mash the avocados or thinly slice them. It's your choice, guys. For the queso fresco, just simply crumble them with your hands. All right, let's get cooking. Turn your heat to medium high and wait for your cast iron skillet to get smoking hot. Then pour in a little bit of cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, you can add the beef to the pan. Then 
This is a thin cut of beef, so it won't take long to cook at all. It just takes a few minutes on each side and it's done. Remove the beef from the pan and allow it to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now do not clean out the pan because we're simply going to use the same pan to cook the sliced onions. So turn the heat on once again to medium high and add in a little bit more of the cooking oil. Then toss in the sliced onions and spread them out around the pan. Leave them in the pan undisturbed until they have developed some color. Then you can stir them around until they have caramelized. Remove them from the pan and set them aside. Next, we need to toast our bread. So slice the bread of your choice in half, then slather on some butter. Now turn your heat onto medium and lay the bread facing down onto the pan. After a minute, move the bread around the pan. This way, the pan won't be so dry. Cook the bread until it is crispy and golden brown. Then reduce the heat to low and turn the bread over. Cook it for one more minute and remove the bread from the pan. All right, we are almost done guys. We just need to assemble our sandwich. First off, let's spread some mayonnaise onto the bread. Next, add some of the crumbled queso fresco. Add the beef. Then add the caramelized onions. Add the sliced avocados, or like I had mentioned earlier, you can mash the avocados and spread them onto the bread instead. That would be up to you. Now add the lettuce, and again, you can choose to either use the whole lettuce leaf, or use shredded lettuce. Then add the sliced tomatoes. Lastly, add some nacho jalapenos. And this would, of course, be optional. Place the other half of the bread on top, and you're done. You can serve this sandwich with a few slices of lime. And for additional heat, you can drizzle on some Mexican hot sauce. Instead of a Taco Tuesday, guys, you can make next Tuesday a Torta Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching my video. The recipe is available at www.eatwithemily.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Have a super duper day! And until next time, I'll see you later alligator! Bye!